SoCo Homebrew in South Austin has a secret. Its various pumps, vats, and doohickeys are powered by the sun. The brewery is home for native solar. They actually built this brewery in this facility, and we've been in here ever since. Paul Watson is the chief strategy officer for Native Solar. And if you go back about 10 years ago, you would be blown away about how little solar has actually been installed. Paul says that today around 5% of the grid is powered by solar, but the Department of Energy plans to up that number to 30% by 2030. Most of the panels have a 25-year warranty. But eventually, panels expire. Can you dispose of it improperly? Absolutely. People, these things, like anything else, can end up in landfills. But solar panels can be recycled. You're going to have the solar cells. You're going to have some aluminum in here. Each of which can be sold and turned into profit. There's not a huge market right now. Solar panels do have value when they do expire. Austin Resource Recovery Director Ken Snipes says that they accept solar panels at their recycle and reuse drop-off center but they don't get a lot of them. We do see them from time to time uh, from storm damage or, or things like that. When the material comes in, the computers will go in one direction, the monitors, TVs, that sort of stuff will go in another direction. Donald Harvey is a division manager with Austin Resource Recovery. How often do you see solar panels come through this facility? Not very often. Uh, you know, we only, this past year, I think we got less than 2,000 pounds or less than one ton. Once the panels come in, they go to a processor in Dallas. If we start to see more of them, then we'll divert resources or add resources as needed to be able to handle and, and successfully process those materials. Paul expects the recycling market to rapidly expand over the next decade, but not in Texas. Instead, he thinks Europe, where solar panels have taken off, will be the first to capitalize on the market. It's really important that you do have it disposed properly. These do not belong in a landfill, and more importantly, they have different chunks of value streams that can come out of them. It's an industry that's brewing with potential. In South Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.